Welcome back to my Let's Play for Inuyasha, The Secret of the Cursed Mask. I suppose this has been a long time in coming. It's been almost a month since I last updated this game. This is Kasasagi Town. It's the biggest city around here, and they sell pretty much everything you need for traveling. Hey, do you think they sell any juice here? Probably. I mean, it is a pretty big town. I imagine they they sell juice as well as other beverages, like alcohol. Unfortunately, I don't have any beer with me, so I can't get drunk while playing, but I guess we could pretend I was drunk, but I don't know what that'd be like. I've never been drunk before. Um, yeah. Why would they sell something like that? Hanyash has apparently never been to a bar before. You know, whatever. I've never been to one either. There sure are a lot of people here. Well, why wouldn't there be? It's a city! What'd you expect? Or a large town. One or the other. The game can't make up its mind about it. Yeah. I think we should split up and ask around. No, no, no. You do not split the group up. You never know when that's gonna invite trouble. Like, you might get replaced by a doppelganger or something. You never split up the group. It's a rule. It'll get dark before we can ask everyone. So, we'll ask around and then meet back here? Right. The city is big, so be careful not to get lost. Jeez, thanks guys. Don't even leave anyone with me, just all go walk off by yourselves. Man, they're jerks. Well, let's see. Hit up this place, I guess. Tell me what you know. Yeah, you got any leads? No, like gossip, especially interesting gossip. Ah, notice board, huh? A good person, very kind, huh? I guess we'll have to see about that. Usually, games like this, the headman always has to be like evil or something. Hmm. Oh, so you're a traveling merchant? Where's your home shop then? Okay. Lots of bargains, huh? Well, let's see them. Uh, looks like they're selling stuff for the same price everyone else sells it for. That's not a bargain. Jeez, I don't even know what a bargain is. Lie to me. Uh, I doubt it. We're just in the store and they had nothing I wanted. It's awful. Huh. Yeah, if I suppose anything, I'd say it's a l rather quaint little city. More like a rural town. Hmm. Let's see, what's this place like? Hmm. Yeah, I am a thief. Because, you know, I'm the hero. That means I gotta take all everyone's stuff that might be useful for hero work, you know? Money. Long-forgotten weapons. Toys. Gotta sell that stuff. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Throwing your way around is not going to fill your belly unless you threaten them for food. But you really shouldn't do that. So that's a bad example. Ooh, an item. What do we got here? Look what I found! A sky blue seed. Okay. Guess we can plant that in the field of mysteries at some point, I guess. Huh. <sighs> for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. <sighs> Not to get lost, huh? Yeah, the back alley in this game's a nightmare. It's a maze. Why it's a maze? I have no idea. It just is. Probably just for the developers to be able to tell you they hate you. I think that's why. Because, you know, developers hate you sometimes. Like, we gotta remind you that we hate you, player. By making things more complicated than it needs to be. By like, making the world's biggest back alley. <laughs> Let's see. 
Well, no. Doesn't he have a nice estate? Oh, great. I look familiar. It's probably not a good sign. The samurai recognizes you. It usually means trouble, man. Unless you're, like, famous or something. Like, in a good way. Like, there's some legendary swordsman or something. Or archer or a legendary medic. Of some kind or something, you know? People love white mages. Especially good white mages. You know, if you're really good at what you do as a white mage, no one screws with you. Because they need you for group healing. Hesman House? It's right behind us, man. Oh, come on. You can try at least a little bit harder. Let's see. Um... Well, you know. No, I don't want to rest. That's a rip-off. 500 gold pieces to take a nap. Screw you, man. Did I miss the door? I can't believe I missed the door. Jeez. Second, huh? Looking at that? Huh. A wanted poster. For a kid. Let's see. Somewhere before. Crap. Me? Where? I've seen you somewhere before. Hey, it's the girl on the wanted poster. That's not true. How you know it's not true? <laughs> my lord, my lord, the girl on the wanted poster is here. And how they know I was coming to this town anyway? And what did I do? Get away. You're the girl on the wanted poster. Come here. Ow, stop it! Don't be so rough. And this is why you shouldn't split up. Well, well. It's the girl from the wanted poster. Do you ever open your eyes? You look pretty delvy with your eyes shut. Well, they can accuse you of plenty. It doesn't mean you have to be guilty. <sighs> I don't know, but Kagura definitely wants us to catch you. Oh, great. Kagura? Which means Naraku wants to capture us. Which means he probably wants our Shinigami powers. Gosh darn it. <sighs> it's nice to know we're so wanted, you know, so we can be eaten. <sighs> Who is Kagura? I don't know who that is. You wouldn't know her. She's a messenger from the castle. Well, then she's got me confused with someone else. Are you crazy? The messenger made a mistake? No way. Impossible. Well, it wouldn't be the messenger's mistake, would it? It'd tell me the person who gave her the message's mistake. Of course, that'd probably be someone at the castle, which would mean the leader around here. Which would probably be even worse, because you can't act like the leader's fallible after all. You gotta act like he's an infallible, immortal, godlike entity, right? Stop your strange talk and wait in jail until Kagra arrives. Strange talk? What's so strange about it? I guess he's not gonna explain it. Whatever. I knew you weren't kind guy. Behave yourself until Kagra gets here. Why should I? And I love how they make the escape plan obvious. Look at the shiny rocks. Hmm. 
The village headman said something about Kagra. But then why did they capture me? And they put me in jail. I shouldn't waste my time complaining. I need to get out of here. But how? Lane and Obvious, we're gonna have to blow up the side of the wall. Look at the color of this wall. Is it serpentine rock? Oh, flame burning bright! I did it! I've got to get back to Kagome quickly. Well, no. Ironically, we got put in jail by the police. I actually have a story about the cops today. They actually showed up to my workplace. They had to throw a customer out of the drive-thru. Yep. Look what I he was being belligerent. So. Andrew called the cops up and thrown out. Yeah, that's something that actually happened. I can't repeat what he was saying to get himself in trouble, but... I guess he threw a fit because he wanted the ore and iron we weren't selling at the time because he, he stopped selling them after um switch over and he was too late and it's like I was waiting in line for a long time and people were like, well, it's too late because you're being all belligerent and stuff. I'm not going to be nice about it. You can just leave. If you upset the, the serving staff, they will tell you to go away because they don't have to serve you. Then why don't you guys come find me immediately, then, if you saw my wand poster all over the place? Seriously. I know. Because of those posters, I got caught by the village headman. I thought so. Well, I'm glad you made it back safely. But I wonder why there's wanted posters of you. I know. It seems someone named Kagra brought them here. What? Kagra? Kagra? Could it be that Kagra? How many Kagras do you know of? Seriously. I mean, maybe it's not a super uncommon name. But let's face it, when you're doing a show like this, there's no such thing as coincidence. You never usually have two characters with the same name. Ugh. You know her? They said she's a messenger from the castle. Yes. Do you remember the story about the shards of the Shikon Jewel? The thing that makes demons stronger if they use it? Yes, that's right. There's an evil demon named Naraku that can't wait for a chance to get his hands on the Shikon Jewel. An evil demon? Well, what do you expect? Almost every demon we've run to has been evil. How many good demons can you think of off the top of your head? And the closest one you can think of probably is probably going to be like Inuyasha or something. And even then you're like, well, he's half human. When it comes to these shows, demons are almost always inexcusably evil. Like, I guess you got Shippo, but let's face it, he's a small fry. No one cares about Shippo. He likes to bully and hurt people. He's evil. Okay, I'm sure some people like Shippo. I have a soft spot for him because he's a kitsune, but... At the same time, I imagine a lot of other people really hate him, like Bent the Sage. I've fought him many times, but he always escapes. He's the most evil demon of them all. That's a bold claim. I don't think you can say he's the most evil. I see. And Kagra is Naraku's female incarnation. Female incarnation? Does that mean Kagra is bad too? She uses the wind and possesses the dead. She's disgusting. I see. But why is she looking for me? If they went as far as putting up wanted posters of you, maybe... It has something to do with you coming to this world. I agree. It sounds like something Naraku would do. Well, why not put wanted posters up of everyone else? If you're gonna go looking for me, why not look for Kagome? Or Inuyasha? Or Shippo? Or Moroku? Or Sango? 
Like, why, why just put one posters of me? And how does he know what I look like anyway? <sighs> well, since Kagra's on her way here, we might as well stick around. Yes. I want to find out what this is all about. Okay, then let's go to the village headman's house. Really? Oh. Anything nice to say to me, old people? <sighs> well, that wasn't very insightful. I, mean, I guess it wasn't I am air or something, but still. <sighs> Not particularly helpful advice, people. Okay. Go up this way. We keep going in this pattern. We'll eventually reach where we want to go. Eventually. And that's all that really matters, I suppose. Uh. Let's see, we're almost there. Yep. I'd like to see the village headman. Hey, where have I seen you before? It can't be. You're the girl on the wanted poster. Took you that long to remember me? I talked to you earlier. Seriously? Oh no! They're gonna catch me again! Let's escape to the edge of the city for now! That's one slow walk. Are you assuming we're gonna kill them just because they're human and we're fighting them? Because I'm pretty sure we could just knock them out. Are you saying you only believe in the usage of fatal techniques, therefore you must always run away from humans and never engage them in combat? Weirdo. Yeah, you're right, but... Hmm, it doesn't seem like we'll be able to meet Kagra. What to do? Well... Why don't you pretend to turn me in? What? From what we've seen... If you say that you caught me, you can easily get into the headman's house. Wouldn't they recognize them from the last time you guys showed up and they ran away with you? I see. We pretend that we're from this city and say that we caught you and we'll be able to get in no problem. Is it very common for demons to be living in a human city, Shippo? Because, quite frankly, your ears give it away. <laughs> right. That's pretty risky. Yeah, you're right, it is a pretty risky plan. In fact, it's so risky, it should never ever work. Unless the humans are stupid. Yeah, and it could be dangerous, too. It's pretty dangerous to take you right into his house. Hey, Shippo, why don't you transform yourself? What? Wait a second. Even if they tie you up and put you in jail, you can still get out if you have to. It seems I always get the worst end of the deal. Well, what do you expect? You don't have any real combat power. <laughs> That's a great idea. Nobody can figure out Shippo's disguises. There's no one else but you, Shippo, that can do this. Well, you don't have to feel, at least he doesn't have to feel as bad as Oolong does. Let's not forget the lax to pill. Ugh. Really? Yes. Will you do it, please, Shippo? Alright, I'll do it! Wow, what a perfect transformation! This is kind of weird. Is that meant to be your disguise? I'm just putting on a green kimono? That's not a disguise, you're not hiding your face! And that's what would be on the wand poster! Jeez! Really? Then no one will be able to see through my fox magic? 
You've come this far and you're scared now? I'm not scared. Now let's go! Okay, Shippo. Good luck. Inuyasha, you should stay here for now. Okay, but be sure to call me if anything happens. Kagome, why doesn't Inuyasha transform himself? Because he doesn't have that power. Jeez. Do you think all demons have the same abilities or something? I don't think Inuyasha has the ability to transform at all. <sighs> He's just a half demon. What's that got to do with anything? Most of the demons we meet in the show don't transform. Is this just now an assumed power demons have? They can alter their appearance at will? <sighs> hmm. Anyway, I think he would just get caught if he tried to transform himself. It's better this way. I agree. This is the house of the village headman. What do you want? I found the girl on the wanted poster. I came to turn her in. Hmm? I see. It's the girl on the wanted poster. Come inside. Wait over by the white sand. That wasn't too difficult. Yes. I'm glad we got through smoothly. That was a little too easy. It's all because of my acting. What acting? All I had to do was stand there. Yes, it is. You were great, Shippo. You had him tricked. Oh yeah. means Naraku's probably nearby. Huh? What are Saimyosho? They're the Saimyosho that Naraku uses. If they're here, Kagura must be too. It's definitely Naraku's female incarnation, Kagura. If the Saimyosho are here, then we've probably already been found out. Probably. So what, were they to disguise themselves to blend in with the floor or something so we couldn't see them? Oh, they found us out. Oh, Inuyasha! I saw the Saimyosho fly by, so I came right away. It was exactly as I thought. Bring it on. Yeah, why was that thing flying by? Just to let them know they've been had? Like, we know it's you. <sighs> Come on. Well, let's do this, I guess. Oh, tech. We'll go with a normal one. Uh, defense buff. Here goes. Box fire. Defense increase. Yes. Well, no. I'll give it a go. I'm gonna seal away your abilities, so you can't do jack. Didn't work at all. Yeah. 
Guess we should have just shot him in the face. I ain't got high hopes for this. It's probably gonna be Jack Squad. But it's worth a shot, I guess. I guess. You're mine. Well, what's he doing? Ooh, group attack. Oh, we're sealed. Gotcha. Fine. I'll just rub and whack you. Well, I guess Shippo was fast enough to make up for some of his, um, shortfalls. Those monks weren't that impressive. Not that impressive at all. <laughs> These guys are all talk. I suppose they were. They're worth a crap ton of experience, though. What a relief. I didn't know what was going to happen. That demon was no problem, but it's no good sticking around if the Sign Yosho are here. Yes, both Naraku and Kagura can see what the Sign Yosho can see. So, if the Sign Yosho see us, that means Naraku and Kagura will know we're here? Yes, that's why I think Kagura already knows we're here. So, all we can do now is quickly get ourselves into the headman's house. It's dangerous, but I guess that's our only option. <laughs> Here I come. You better get out of the way! Inuyasha looks pretty excited about this. That's because he loves to fight. Hey, if it works, don't complain. Is that the headman? Help me! He really doesn't deserve our help, but something isn't right. Oh, he's surrounded by demons! Hold on a minute, I'll help you. He doesn't deserve our help just because he was going to screw you over, because he wasn't going to listen to you? <sighs> Jeez. Personal revenge, I guess. Um, oh. Nah, it's P Tech. Wheel of Fire. Here goes. It's like Wheel of Fortune, only you know, a lot more intense and painful. Two-thirds of them. Well, that one stung. Yeah. Last, I guess. I did it. Yes. Um, tech. Drop a band-aid here, I guess. Are you okay? That should do it. I assume it's a lot more than 17 is missing if he's got that much of a bar right. missing at this point. Can we just finish this mask off? You're mine. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> These guys are all talk. I suppose they are. Binding blue sky, huh? Packlash wave at level 10? Seriously? 
Thank you so much. I don't deserve your kindness. Don't worry about that. But what are you doing here? I was tricked by that Kagra woman. I had no idea the castle's messenger was a demon. <laughs> Kagra. Where is she now? She's just ahead. She tried to feed me to the demons. Just ahead, huh? All right, let's go. It's dangerous here, so you should hide. Taking that with me. Look what I found. Cicada skin. What do they do with that? Seriously. There it is. Oh, effective in keeping insects away. So wait, that doubles up as like some sort of bug spray? Isn't that a bit weird? Oh, whatever. I found you, Kagra. I knew it was you. I thought I heard noises. It was you guys. So, you're Kagra. Why are you trying to capture me? So, you're the girl. Did you summon me into this world? If it was you, you'd better send me back. Send you back? How interesting. Now why would I do something like that? You're pathetic as always. I'm gonna cut you to shreds. Got that? Go ahead. As always, you're such a mutt. And that was crappy trash talk. <sighs> I need to try harder. I suppose we're in for a real fight now. Oh, great, she's got minions. Didn't even feel that. Let's see. Dance of blade! Oh, ah, shit. Me? Oh, no. Try to get these things eliminated. Now. I know it's not gonna work, but fast beat rid then the better. Right. Yeah, it means burning up more energy than I'd like. affect bosses, right? Problem is that stuff has such a low probability of work, you're never gonna use it. Like, offense is better on the grounds it actually works when it's supposed to. Oh, great. Pick a random demon out of the selection when they do that. SP. Um. Yeah, I want to try and get these birds out. So I just skeletons. I don't know. But 
but regardless, I want them out. I'm fine. Oh, it failed. Whatever I was trying to do. Right. Um. Prepare yourselves. Hopefully, it's Kagura that gets blocked. Target any Asha. And not many of them will. Come on. Oh, flame burning bright. Release your power. Yeah, release it all right. Release it all over that thing. So I wish I threw that cog right now. Gurgle hits always a plus. Okay. Well, even if it only increases it by a little bit, it's worthwhile. Just to make myself a bit more durable. Try to do, but it obviously failed. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, work. Let's see. Drop a medicinal herb on you. Should have only got enough attack from the damage of anything useful there. Worse. 
That's no reason not to apply healing here. If I keep everyone alive, I'm definitely gonna win. After all. If I don't can't die, I can definitely can't lose. Okay. That's one way to do it. Backlash wave is too chancy. See how you like this. It doesn't just respond to any enemy attack, it has to be a specific attack towards any Asha. So that's really like a ton of enemy or something. It's sort of useless. You're mine. Oh, falling back. I understand. Wait a minute, Inuyasha. We have to ask Kagura about the wanted posters. Yeah, you're right. Huh? What was that? Ah! Is that a Shikigami? Utsugi? Shikigami? It's like mine, but it's completely different in size. Naraku has sent someone to help me. Don't expect any thanks. Stop! You'll be sorry if you get in my way. Be careful, Inuyasha. I don't think this is your typical demon. I don't care what it is. I'll destroy anything that gets in the way. Windscar! You're wasting your time. Damn it! It didn't work! It was so easily repelled! Now it's my turn. Dance with my rage. Take it easy, Inuyasha. You're hurt. It's only a small cut. Your wound, it's beautiful. It's like the setting sun. What are you talking about? Wow! Was that the power of the Shikigami? Who are you? Are you the girl? Huh? Me? What are you talking about? Damn it! Get out of the way! I see. Kagra, I've completed my mission. I'm leaving. Ah, oh, fine. Hey, wait! Damn it. And she got away too. Utsugi would treat Inuyasha like a child. But I think she may know something. You think? Oh, you defeated them. Are you blind? Can't you see they just ran away? Don't be so cross. He's a victim too. Thank you for your understanding. I had no idea the messenger from the castle would be a demon. I am so sorry for what happened to you. That's okay. The evil ones are Utsugi and Kagra. Don't worry about it anymore. Oh, you are so forgiving. You're such an angel. I think that may be taking it a little too far. Come on, you really are kind. Thanks, Kagome. That's nice of you. <laughs> From what Utsuki and Kagura were saying, 
It seems there's a connection between Naraku and your being brought into this world. It's too bad I wasn't able to ask, even though they were right there. Don't give up. I'm sure there will be another chance. Yes, and I doubt Naraku will be leaving us alone. Well, the next time, I'll finish the job. Well, let's get back to Kaede's village for now. <sighs> I guess that means we have to get out of town first. Everyone, please wait. Now what? Have an object of power or something? Hey, it's the headman. What do you want? It's not much, but please take this. It's a token of my apology and thanks. Money? Wow! There's quite a bit here! We can buy lots of sweets now! That would be a waste, Shippo. But... It's okay. Take it. It comes from good intentions. I think you should take it. Okay then. I will accept it. Thank you, Headman. Oh, come on. That's about as much as I already had on me anyway. <laughs> I guess that means it's not an insignificant sum, but still. <sighs> it's not like I couldn't get more money just from fighting demons out in the wild. For a while. It's not like I haven't done it before. Anyone else want to stop me? No? Well, good. I guess we're going to be heading back to Coyote's Village for next time. But for now, I'm going to be stopping here. Till then, see ya.